Hi guys, let's look at how you can create uh, a perfect relationship. So we can uh, have a database. So I go to file new folder, then I just uh, name it as relationships. Then we open the folder, I click inside, go to new, we open Microsoft Access. So still we can call our database uh, relationships and then we launch our database so uh, we open our access uh, this is our access we open our access then we open our relationship so I will use a few tables to demonstrate so we just start with create table design we create a table called customer so we have customer uh, customer uh, then uh, we can have the product the product the customer will be buying product then we shall have the cost then we can also have the probably the supplier of uh, this uh, commodity then we can also have the company the company that probably uh, manufactures this product so from here this is currency we can save this one as the primary key then after doing so uh, we shall have to save that one as customer uh, customers then we go ahead and create another table table design then this time around we can have the product the product id this is auto number then you can have the uh, the product itself this is the primary key then we can have the product cost the product cost uh, this is currency then you can also have the supplier probably the supplier of this uh, uh, commodity then we save that one as uh, products we go ahead and cross this one then go to table design this time round shall create the supplier the supplier uh, the supplier name this, uh, supplier name and probably the product the product this guy is surprised so right click uh, this is uh, you can have uh, a supplier id supplier id this can be the auto number then right click this is the primary key then save this one as suppliers so guys after doing that we can just feed a bit of some data here you can have done Ichai. you can have uh, Belinda Belinda and now you can have uh, JB uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Then uh, we can also have somebody else as, as, as like John Peters. Peters. Then the product here is say uh, we can have a product like tea, can have coffee, can have uh, cocoa, can have uh, chocolate. Then various costs, you can have 45, you can have, okay, sorry, you can have, you can have something, uh, some cost there. Then from there, that is enough. You can just go on to products. Products you can have now, you have tea, you have coffee, sorry, escape coffee then you can also have chocolate there you can have cocoa costs can be done later then you have suppliers you can have you can have madais can have samrat can have uh, taskes 
task case can have format good then from there we can now proceed to database tools then relationships then we, we can delete this from the keyboard we don't need that then hit show table we, we double click the tables like that then close this these are our three tables so guys from here I can just uh, have these tables organized like that then here now we can have now the product uh, sorry the product going to product then you can see we have one to many relationship then on the other hand uh, we have the supplier name goes to supplier uh, like that then uh, enforce referential integrity and do that so guys you'll notice that um uh, if i save this by right clicking here then save then right click close you can add another table uh, uh, create another table called now the company the company the company the company id this is outer number then we have company name this is, this is our primary key then we save this one as company companies then we can proceed to this point we can have abc xyz ever ever ready you can have Majimengi. Let's assume these are our companies. So right click cross. We proceed to database tools, relationships. Now we need to add that table. So hit show table, uh, double click companies and cross. So guys, from here again, you can have the company name to company. This is also one to many relationship. Then you click on uh, enforce, then create. So guys, you see now we have a perfect uh, relationship among the the three tables so that's how you can create perfect uh, relationship using microsoft access tables thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe also remember to share and comment on the videos thank you very much